We have new details tonight in the massive animal cruelty case where some 164 Pomeranians were locked up for hours inside a U-Haul. They were. Contact 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears explains what Noella Velasco told police about her intentions with the dogs. Cruel, unsanitary, and dangerous conditions, according to the police report. Crates with as many as five dogs in each stacked in rows on top of each other. Those are some of the dark details in Metro's report about the 164 Pomeranians rescued last November. And we were very worried that she was going to move the dogs, which is what she did. Police credit animal advocate Gina Grayson with Nevada Voters for Animals for tipping them off about Noella Velasco, the alleged puppy mill operator in California who packed up the Pomeranians and moved them to Nevada. Um, hiding them from authorities. I mean, it just. It's heartbreaking. Velasco told police she was afraid the dogs were going to be euthanized by San Bernardino County Animal Control. Her plan was to keep them on the truck so officials inspecting her California property wouldn't find the dogs and take them from her. But by the time Grayson found the truck and alerted Metro, the dogs had been locked up for 24 hours with no food, water, or ventilation. Quite a few had excessive amounts of feces and filth matted into their hair, indicating a history of neglect. A veterinarian had to remove an eye from one dog due to an infection that had been left untreated. He also noted severe matting and numerous small scabs on that dog. Velasco admitted to police that she'd been previously cited for failure to provide food and water containers for her dogs when they were stored in crates in Pahrump. Neither Velasco nor her lawyer returned our calls for comment. She and her co-defendant Kevin McCormack, who was driving the dogs around in the U-Haul, are due in court June 5th. You can read more details from the police report on our website at KTNV.com. Darcy Spears, 13 Action News.